but they have done one thing and that is make this viper feel like it's a pretty bad hero this game if he does end up going versus the peel they've got two ways to purge it off but no we're gonna get some cheese here okay it hoping earlier in the draft that they don't go for that ladder option so all right, looks like that is going to be the play. The Underlord comes out for the Ego Boy's side, so he did hit it up. Well, and at the same time, in the bottom lane, you have King Tekka having a really nice time on the pit ward. Yuma can't really do much, and it looks like they got a kill on a Pandago. And Pandago taken down, tries to sort of save it with the Fortune's End, but to commit for anything either, so simply has to watch his teammate die. Meanwhile, Papatuti, nice rotation in. Look at the Shackle onto Rises into the Power Shot, and they are going to be able to pick that one up. Rises just didn't see that rotation coming until it was too late. The Viper... And we've seen alone sort of stacking, and they got to kill bottom onto Yuma, I think. Yeah, left his teammate alone for just a little bit. Pandago TP'd mid, I believe, to hold the tower from the Viper. And before, so... he picked it up, and he almost got it kind of too early. As we do see a bit of a problem here for 1437, caught out in the river. Pandago not going to be able to help him out, as alone will come in to get the kill, and now the Oracle is on the run. Pit of Malice not up for another sort of eight seconds, though, so I'm not sure really how far they're willing to take this, but poison attacks are coming through. Gonna get a little bit of damage, a little bit of slow. Pandago still on the run, but at this point... Oh, there's the pit again. Gonna be able to drop it. Fortune's End, though. Immediately nice thrown out, stun. but Tano's still in with the Earth Spike, and they will find it alone. Going, but it does feel like everybody on Ego Boys is farming up. They've been incredibly efficient with their rotations. Eh. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's not gonna be too bad. But okay, alone. All right. That's just a straight-up oh, jump in. Dead. Those Spiderlings, though. Oh, what the? hey. Uh, and actually, uh, it's going to be King Tekka without yeah. any spells. He's, he's dead. just straight-up dead. Bola slows him down. Divide Lama gets the kill. Tano, you might want to clear out of here. He's next up on the chopping block if he doesn't leave now. As Divide Lama, not going to be able to chase any further than that. However, over in that south side, River, Papatuti, yeah, he's in some trouble. He does have a bottle charge still, but it's not going to come out in time. And actually, he did try to pop it. It just didn't really save him as a loan. We'll be able to pick up another kill, so... The Viper may have made a bit of a mistake top going in onto the spider, but oh, he is able to find a kill there. But now Tano, he didn't clear out. I'm just going to get eaten a little bit here. I think this was an incredibly... Oh, hold on. Nope. Alone. Is he dead? Is he just going to be taken down here? The Spiderling's not able to finish him off, but uh, Divide Llama does get hit up by the Atos into that Pit of Malice, and I think they've actually got him. Finger of Death comes through from Tano, and they do find that kill, so... or not wise to sort of bail out of it at this point, but... Working out for him well so far, and his teammates now finding some kills elsewhere on the map. Papatuti and Pandeko catch out King Tekka in that north side jungle. Continue to make these plays, then they're going to be able to create that space. And over on the Ego Boys side, as you were sort of mentioning earlier on, not really sure how quickly they're going to build up, but they are making a play now onto 1437 as they do catch him out in the bottom lane. But Papatuti TP'd in. Pandeko's TP, though, will be cancelled. So it doesn't look like there's going to be a fight here after all. Instead, they were trying to pressure up the tier 2 tower, but the glyph will be used defensively. And Divide Lama's not going to be able to fully threaten it just yet, but he is going back in. But at this point, Kuteka has arrived. There's another TP coming forward from Tano, so the Brood may want to try and clear out of here, but the Earth Spike will lock her down. Tano doesn't have the Finger of Death, though, and without oh, that, wow. they can't really get the kill. He might look to get a bit more rises. aggressive. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, Papatuti and 1437 pushing in. They've caught Rises out, but he's a little bit too far away for them to really feel confident jumping in onto. So instead... They're going to try and back off. 1437 with a nice two-man stun with the Carapace, but Tano's still chasing. Got to go in for the Hex, but the Shackle. <laughs> oh, that's well-placed, but it's not enough. 1437 still hit up by that Earth Spike, and then Tano drops him with the finger. Maybe just barely Tekka lives. jumped in on top, oh, tried nope. to TP. Oh, wait, no, I mm, he was so close, he almost had it, but Divai Lama sort of uh, drops him low, and Papatuti comes in for the sort of Executioner's Blow with that power shot. Oh, Ryzus is up here. Wait. They're trying to set up with the Eclipse. Okay. Can they get this done? Broodmother dropping low, and yeah, she's dead. Kara actually comes in with the overgrowth as well, just to make sure Divai Lama wasn't going to be able to sort of scurry away, so... Losing the Underlord there is a bit unfortunate, but the trade-off for the Brood is incredibly valuable. I think Ego Boys... I'm not sure if that was the plan the whole time. Uh-oh. Well, it's not going to matter what the plan was now, as Rise is in some trouble. Stun coming out from Tano, but it's not going to be enough. Rise is dropping low. Living Armor can't save him, as D2 Hustlers find the kill. A couple of tips going Rise's way as well. That's... That's a little harsh, but they do find that pickoff. Luna taken down, and D2 Hustlers will salvage that play. To be a little bit closer to the Bailama there, then he would have survived. And Kara will try to be as annoying as possible. They don't want to give up these towers, and actually Yuma... Yeah, they Yuma still might want to problems. clear out. He is going to use that doppelganger to try and get away initially. Tano, meanwhile, hit up by the Impale. Papatuti coming in as well, dropping down that power shot. They need maybe one or two more hits. Tano, though, trying to sort of lead them through the tree line, but it's not going to matter. Papatuti still gets the kill. 
And now Ego Boys got to be careful. They could potentially get wrapped around on the back line as Papa is going to do exactly that. Shackle comes through, locking up King Tekka. They get the stun down on it too alone as well. Now in comes Divide Llama, but the BKB will be activated by the Viper. He's going to be able to pull back for the time being, but this is not really a fight Ego Boys can take any longer. They just have to retreat and regroup in the base. Some interference here as well, and now Papa Tutti actually may just be able to get in. The wind run is going to be there. He needs the shackle. No, he doesn't. Power shot will come in instead, and Papa Tutti just straight up finds the kill. And oh, King Tekka. I not have a choice. Yeah, King Tekka's going to get caught out. He's in the fight whether he wants to be or not. They start off with the impale into the shackle shot. Focus fires there the whole time with the double damage rune, and there's not a whole lot that uh, King Tekka can do on that one. He is relatively tanky, but that's just too much. And I'm surprised we're not seeing him make uh, sort of a. A switch over to that Vanguard. A Crimson Guard would be killer this game. It's fantastic versus Wind, PL, and the Broodmother. So I feel like that would be a really smart, easy way for him to build up. But at the same time, if you're D2 Hustlers, while you probably won't be able to find too many crazy plays up until you get what I feel like needs to be a Blink Dagger on both Papa 2D and 1437, they're eyeing up the Luna. Well, they've got a tree. They've already got damage onto Alone. Now they push onto Rise's good play in there for the stun. And now Alone. He's got to pop, yeah, he's got to pop that BKB, but the physical damage is just too much. He's still dropping. Can they actually save him? Yes, they can. Kara coming in with that overgrowth, but Spike Carapace will be locking down multiple heroes on the side of Ego Boys. The Impale comes in up to two. The Shackle Shot follows it up, and I'm not entirely sure if Ego Boys are ready for this. Tano's going to have to fall back. He's going to be able to get back into the base, but the only reason he escapes is because Kara's basically going to take his place. As Yuma jumps in for the kill, they take down the tree, but... If you're looking for a silver lining for Ego Boys, it's the fact that Alone will survive, but that's still two heroes dead, and all the while, Divai Lama pushed his way through the tier 3 tower up top. Uh, and now, King Becca, he's under 10. Oh, uh, no. Is he, is he even going to get yeah. it out? No. Oh, oh that shackle. shackle. Come on. That's... Oh, that's just not fair. King Tekka taken down. Tano falls yeah, inside too. of his own fountain. Alone is... Alone. Rises will be respawning, but by this point, it's it's already too late. They've just straight up lost the fight. They're going to lose the top lane of Rax here as well, so... Maybe she's not, and the game is just going to sort of end based around that fact, because really, they haven't itemized. They're not tanky on any of their heroes. And look, I think that guy, he's just dead. Yeah, he, he's can't get out. This build, I mean, I understand what he was trying to do initially with the Rod of Atos, but now it just kind of looks silly as he throws that out, and then that's it. He, there's nothing else for him to fight with. There's no other sort of durability for him, but... He does buy back into the fight, so he is in here again. Dubai Lama, though, a little bit more concerned with trying to dive the tower. But now, he may have gone a little bit too far. Four Staff is going to get him out of the radius of that Pit of Malice, but now the Hex will come through. Rises is teeping into the tree line as well, so they are going to be able to sort of surround Dubai Lama. Can they actually get him, though? The Eclipse comes through, and they do manage to get it done, but back in the middle lane, Yuma and Papa Tutti still trying to hit that Tier 3 mid, but they don't actually bring it down. And if it's able to heal up, I think Rises, yeah, break your smoke, make sure this tower doesn't die, because you do have that tree and protector. If they can get a little bit more here, it still feels like you need some incredible throws for this game to really swap. It just yeah. expires in 17 yeah, seconds. Yuma needs to die right now. Can he just jump in? No, the false promise. Actually going to bail him out, but I'm not entirely sure if he wants that. Although, if he can get the... Uh, oh. If he get the Aegis region, left. that would have worked. But it looks like, yeah, they're going to be able to bail out with just about everybody. Kara may actually make an escape here as well. Needs to get back into the base. Divai Lama, though, for staffing himself forward, and there's the Yules. So, Kara will be left behind and should be taken down here, but the teammates are coming, rushing in to try and defend him, but that actually may have just sort of baited them into a fight as well, as Kara does end up falling. He will buy back immediately, though. So, the Triant is back into the fight. Eco Boys, I mean, they're ready to try and defend this, but at this point, I'm not sure there's actually going to be a fight here. That Aegis did time out on the Phantom... Oh, God. On the Phantom Lancer, as King Tekka fakes out that pit about three or four times. And that's it, yeah. D2 Hustlers will back off without the Aegis. I don't think they have quite the same degree of confidence. And it looks like they actually got the Spider. They need a little bit more, though. She's really fast. Dubai Lama still has a four step. That's going to get him away. The Guardian Greaves popped as well, and uh, they can't catch him. Dubai Lama's just going to scurry away, and now the reinforcements are coming. They actually want the fight. Shackle connecting onto Kara. Just bought back. Can't afford to go down again, but doesn't really get much of a choice in the matter. As Kara will fall, rises though, popping the BKB, looking to push forward. The Eclipse, only a few seconds away. So if they can hold on, they might be able to throw that out there. But at this point, Alone has already fallen and Rises will simply TP himself out. But while he gets away, the rest of Ego Boy is not going to be quite as fortunate as King Tekka. This is the that single too. most optimistic ult I think I have seen so far. He was not getting out with that channel duration. 
And he will go down. King Tekka will fall in. Here we go. D2 Hustlers back into their opponent's base, looking for the Tier 3 tower. They get through that one pretty quickly. Feels really weird. It, D2 Hustlers need to do some crazy throw here if they want to actually lose this game. I really don't think Ego Boys can win. D2 Hustlers need to mess up. Yeah, they're just sort of hoping for something to break their way on Ego Boys, but it's not looking good so far. Alone okay. just can't leave. Slowed up continuously as Divide Llama brings him down. One tier four tower goes down. The second tower falling as well. And I don't know. Alone's going to buy back. They're going to give it a go. They've got to try and do something. The Eclipse is available, as we mentioned earlier on. Meanwhile, Alone pops a BKB himself in onto the back line. But that HP is just really just melting away. It rises, though, in with the Eclipse. They're going to try and go for these kills. But those bounces, they're just too spread out. They're not really able to focus anyone down. Alone has now fallen. Pandego does eventually get taken down himself. But now the Shackle is going to latch together both King Tekka and Rises. And they're slowly but surely being pushed back. As Kara is dropping low as well. Yuma taking that Triumph Protector out of the fight. He'll turn his attention now onto the Underlord as King Tekka will fall. And, and I think over. that's pretty much it. The Ancient has been exposed. There's no GG just yet, but Rises is not going to survive, and there it is. Kara will throw it out. The Gs will be deployed, and D2 Hustlers will take game one. Yeah, I feel like D2 Hustlers got everything they sort of wanted. And this PL, while you bought it a lot of time, you had this spider that really bought it.